Janelle, I can tell you that Allegheny County homicide detectives are still on the scene trying to figure out what happened in this apartment building around 7 o'clock this morning. All police have said right now was that there was a party, then an argument, then gunshots. Now two people are dead and a third in the hospital. I live right across the hall. Eugene Woods was sleeping when just after 7 a.m. in his Vilsack Street apartment building in Aetna. I woke up the gunshots and then yelling. When Woods looked across the hall, he says he saw one of the two people killed slumped over a couch. He also saw his upstairs neighbor holding a gun to the alleged shooter, effectively stopping him from getting away. He heard all the screaming and they were, they were actually fighting beforehand. And then I guess the guy just pulled the gun out and just like six or seven shots quick too. Police say that neighbor was instrumental in helping them make this arrest. Individual lived on the uh, upstairs, came down and detained the actor until the police arrived. Allegheny County Police Acting Superintendent Jim Morton says the alleged shooter identified by police as 30 year old Joshua Huber will be charged later today. As of now, they're still investigating what led to the shooting and a man and a woman being killed. Another victim, a female, was taken to the hospital with what appear to be non life threatening injuries. It seems like there was two couples in the room and something happened up there and uh, one person shot the other two. Eugene Wood says he isn't sure what would have caused his next door neighbor, the alleged shooter, to do this. A little shaken up still. Shots and that. Luckily, my daughter wasn't here. You know, it was her bedroom goes right up against her living room. And we're giving you a live look right now. You can see the medical examiner has just arrived on the scene here in Aetna. Now, police have also said they're in the process of interviewing the victim that is still in the hospital, and they do expect to release more information throughout the course of the day. We'll have much more on this story starting at 5 on Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Reporting live in Aetna, David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.